Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great Tuesday night. So I was just live a few minutes ago talking about Alana Thompson, who's um, more known as like Honey Boo Boo, but she does not like to go by Honey Boo Boo. But we were talking about her addressing rumors that she's pregnant and addressing the um, Accusation, accusations that her accent is like not her real accent. Um, I recently, when I was actually preparing like all my information and everything for that video, I found another clip of from when Pumpkin and Alana was defending Alana's boyfriend Draylon after his arrest, where he literally ran from the police. He got charged with DUI. They had to do what's called the pit maneuver to get him to stop. So I wanted to watch this video with you guys because in the video, they explain why Draylon did not stop and why he was not at fault throughout this whole ordeal. So let's go ahead, let's roll the intro and then we will get into this discussion. Okay, you guys, welcome back. All right, so really quickly before we watch that video, I kind of just want to go over really quickly like what happened in his arrest, okay? All right, so um, a lot of Thompson's boyfriend, Draylon, was arrested in Georgia, and this was late April. So um, Draylon was pulled over for, this is saying suspected DUI, which is driving under the influence. But the earlier reports was that he was like pulling out of a gas station, like a shell station. And the police officers ran the tags on the car. And it came back that, that the owner of the car had a warrant for their, for, for their arrest. So the officers got behind the car to go, you know, pull the car over. And this person would not stop. Now, this article here is saying that it was suspected DUI. I actually think that it was the other one that they ran the tags. Anyways, Alana, who was 17 years old, was in the car with him. He was chased by the police. He led them on a three mile chase where his speed increased from like 50 miles per hour up to 75 miles per hour. At one point, it, it's being alleged that at one point he ran a car off the road while trying to evade police. Like I said, they had to use what's called the pit maneuver to get him to stop. And what the pit maneuver is, is Basically, like, say this is Draylon, the cops get up right beside him, bump the back of his car, and it sends him into, like, a little bit of a spin. And then usually the car, you know, they they lose control over it, and it'll come to a stop. Um, so that's what happened in this case. They used the pit maneuver, hit the back of the car, it spun around, it stopped. They ran up to the driver's side of the car with their weapons pulled, and that's where they saw Draylon in the front seat. Um, Alana in the passenger side, and then one of their friends in the back. They um, established, established that Draylon was under the influence. They arrested him. His friend in the back um, had a warrant. Draylon allegedly had a warrant. He had um, mar marijuana on him. He also had a gun on him that they said was an unregistered weapon. Um, when this all went down, she was cuffed, but she was eventually let go and Josh was able to come pick her up. When this happened, you guys, when I heard that Alana was in the car as Draylon, Jaylen, Draylon led the police on a three mile police chase, you know, running cars off the road and they had to, um, they had to do this pit maneuver that is dangerous. Literally some places won't even use it anymore are only use it if the cars are going like at a low rate of speed because you can get hurt during this. When I heard that, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. You know, Pumpkin and Josh are furious. They're probably not going to let Alana date him anymore. Like, you know, they're mad. So I was just waiting for a statement, a response for them to speak out about this. And then what happens is they defend him. They go on TikTok lives and they are literally defending him. And I'm like, hold up. I will check that. Okay. Thank you. Asking by subscriber. Hey, Devin. Hey, B. 
Um, oh, now we have two beats. Um, so I was utterly shocked to find out that they were not only not upset with Draylen, but they were defending Draylen. And they were yelling at, subs at, not subscribers, but their followers. They were yelling at them, calling them stupid, calling them ugly, fat, nasty. I mean, just broke. Like, why are y'all worried about us? It's because y'all are broke. It's because y'all can never be us. The things that, things that they were saying just because people had a problem with this were mind-blowing. So I have one video up already. Um, it's like a 10, 12-minute um, video live stream of them attacking anyone that was bothered by what happened with Draylen. But I found another clip of it. And I wanted to go ahead and play this clip for you guys because they actually explain why Draylen was not at fault here and why he didn't pull over. So trigger warning you guys there curse words and I actually think I actually think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna play the first clip and then I'll go back and find the other clip from my other video. I don't know if I still have that one. Because I really do want to watch the second clip as well. I know Wild, I think Wildflower has the whole thing up. Let me see. We'll watch the first clip and if we can find the second clip, we'll watch that second clip to really give everybody an idea of like how they responded to this. You know, it is mind blowing. Because I think she plays it and she don't stop it, but I stopped it a lot and spoke through it. So I might play her clip where there's not Stop, talk, stop, talk, you know, because I stopped a million times to talk to it. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to um, watch the first clip, and then we'll go into the second clip. Okay, so at first, um, Pumpkin is on, and she's going to kind of talk, and then Alana comes on, and they both talk about it. Trigger warning. There's curse words. If you don't, if you're around your children or your grandma or somebody, and you don't want them to hear it, step into the bathroom. My Alicia with the sail away. Sending bitches off on a boat. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm going to turn this shit to subs only chat. And none of you bitches going to be able to say shit. And none of you bitches going to be able to say a motherfucking thing that's in here running that motherfucking mouth right now. Because they're like, let me tell you. So, like, majority of the comments and stuff, I'm just reading, like, basically what people put. I see all the love. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the love in this chat is, is like no other. Okay? is like no fucking other all right but for the bitches in the back for the bubblegum bum 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 looking bitches in the back mind your business you are miserable baby you are a hater baby you are a hater baby flood these bitches out with orange hearts in the chat flood these little hoes out i know it's best for alana and Draylen getting pulled over by the cops and apparently running from the police. I get it. Even if you would have run, like if even if he would have moved two more feet, they would have still got him with an eluding charge, regardless. And then y'all would have been like, oh, she running from the police with Draylen in the car. Blah, 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 blah. She's bad. He's this, he's that, and the third. Like, do y'all even fucking know Draylen? Have y'all even stopped for a second outside of the fucking show to really get to know the motherfucker? Didn't think so. Didn't think none of you dumb bum bum book looking bitches in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Y'all sure forgive my mama. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I see some of you bitches in here running your motherfucking mouth now over there in my mama's chat. Y'all can forgive her for everything she did for three fucking years. So, like, be fucking for real. Somebody said, "Why are you so why are you so defensive?" Like I'm defensive because y'all running y'all's. Oh, I can't find them fucking. So if I can't stop. There's nowhere for me to stop when a cop is getting behind me and pulling me over. I should just stop in the middle of the road saying, okay. and put everybody else's life in danger. Stop in the middle of the road and jeopardize us getting bammed in by a fucking eighteen wheeler. I'm just for being pulled over, and that's the facts. And that's the facts. 
Exactly. Somebody said, so why 12 police? There was three of us. There was three of us in the car and there was 12 police. Nobody got out of the car and ran from the police. Like they all just sat there while while the police officer snatched the phone out of Alana's hands, hung up on me, told her she couldn't even be on the fucking phone. So he knew what the fuck he was doing. He told me I couldn't be on the phone so nobody could get no proof of evidence of this dumb fucked up shit they was doing. Like he dead ass. Somebody said Lieutenant John need to get in the box. <laughs> A man called me immediately. He literally snatched the phone out of her hand, told her that she could not even be on the phone with me. They claimed they were pulled over because the one, the person on the tag was wanted. That's a lie. Cause Draylon Mama ain't wanted, and that's I'm just. Go ahead, let y'all know. Yes, Draylon did have a gun, but it was not. Um, un or whatever the fuck they said. I can tell you that right now. It wasn't stolen. It wasn't unregistered. It wasn't none of that. It wasn't none of that. It was not none of that. And if y'all don't believe me, why he don't got the charge? Because this cop still got the gun right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for them to really like. I'm waiting for the people in the comments here running that motherfucking mouth to show me where he got charged with weed and a and a pistol. Somebody said what? Why was he carrying a gun, baby? Because you don't realize the world we live in. Folks just walk up on you and shoot your ass nowadays. Come on now. Like, who doesn't carry a gun in the state of Georgia? Be for real. Just like somebody just said, we're allowed to carry guns. We have the rights to carry guns. It was a little county cop. It wasn't Georgia State Patrol. It wasn't even Georgia State Patrol. No, Georgia State Patrol at all, matter of fact. If the gun was legit, somebody said, hold on, I can't. Gun was legit, they would have given it back immediately. They won't give it back to Draylon because it's not in Draylon's name. It's in his cousin. And I'm on probation. Or previously. Um, the fuck? Okay, did y'all hear it? First off, I'm playing it one time through, and then I'm going to play it again and comment on it. But did y'all hear Draylon just say, and because I'm on probation? Now listen to this. There it is. There you go. You want to know so bad, baby? I if you want to believe anything else, go ahead, please. Please believe anything else, because, baby, I know what happened. I was there when that man got behind us. Show me where he had on probation, y'all. Show me where he's at on probation, because he ain't on probation. Let's go. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. He don't I'm even on probation. Waiting. And yes, he was on probation previously, but it was JAG. Wasn't no federal probation. It was federal fucking was JAG. And it was for a speeding ticket that he could not pay. Come on, we getting fucking real. We getting real. Because I'm going to be so honest with y'all. It was for a speed of ticket that he could not pay. Boy, and I'm going to be so honest. I was on the phone with his JAG probation officer while he was in the cop car. And the, cop, and the probation officer said, okay, that's fine. He said, okay, that's fine. We're going to get it figured out. And what he fucking did, we got to figure the fuck out. He got out two days later. Yeah, baby. I want to know. Why, why can't I use he is no longer on probation and it was fucking jag and if you don't know what jag is you need to go and look it up it's basically like a little pity probation he wasn't on no federal state probation for you that's not true y'all i'm not fucking restating like i'm fine oh, no. Okay, now I have so many comments. I wanted to just play it one time all the way through because one thing that I've realized is when I play these videos, I stop and I comment on them a million times and I just want you guys to get it to watch, you know, get to watch it all the way through before I play it back because I have so many thoughts. First off, um, she says something like, oh, I'm going to turn it on like followers only so I ain't got to listen to y'all's crap. First off, a lot of the people were saying, listen, we are fans. We follow you. We have watched you for years and we love you but we cannot support this like how do you not have a problem with this so does she think by turning on subscriber only mode or follower only mode that she wasn't gonna have to deal with some of the the negative comments because she was because a lot of those people that had a problem with this were the people that followed her were the people that were you know fans of hers so we're gonna play it back so blue cube and when I first heard JAG, that's what I thought as well. I'm a military wife. My husband is a veteran. So I was like, wait, JAG? I even called him and was like, do you know what JAG probation is? 
JAG Probation, it is literally a private owned probation company that operates under the state courts, that are under the state. It is only, so you guys know when you get in trouble and you go to court, if the judge says you're on probation, well, you can be set up through probation through the courts that have their like probation within, or you can be given probation through JAG, which is a private owned company, but it still operates under the state court. It is not, so she made it out like it was like nothing. Like, it's like this little pity. No, it's not. It is still probation. It would more than likely their probation office that, that is ran directly within the court system is probably over, like, um, they had too many people and not enough probation officers. So they had to hire the other probation company. They had to hire the privately owned probation company. This, the JAG probation company is offered in many different states. It's just, that's all that it is. It's privately owned and they set up with the courts to work this out for, you know, for them to be like, you know, we will send them to us, send them to our company. We will keep in touch with you, you know, let you know how they do and let you know when they're on probation. And they, yes, thank you. So basically their regular probation, uh, probation is overpopulated and don't have enough workers. So they use this private on. It's not like it's like some petty. Um, then I was thinking, does she mean it's like a juvenile probation? No, it's not juvenile. It is the same as him. He was on probation. Okay. So let's watch it because I got to stop and commentate. Melissa with the sail away. Sending bitches off on a boat. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm going to turn this shit to subs only chat and none of you bitches going to be able to say shit. Because you think it's only people that are not subbed to you that have an issue? There's so many people that were subbed to you that had an issue that you lost their, their support because of this. And none of you bitches going to be able to say a motherfucking thing that's in here running that motherfucking mouth right now. Because they're like, let me tell you, so like majority of the comments and stuff, I'm just reading like basically what people put. I see all the love because I'm going to tell you right now, the love in this chat is, is like no other, okay? It's like no fucking other, all right? But for the bitches in the back, for the bubblegum bum 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 looking bitches in the back. What, what is that? What is that? You know what? Here's the thing. If you have people that were like straight up haters coming through saying something like, crazy i could understand that like wow y'all haters block 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 but if 90 percent of your chat is saying this is wrong maybe that should be a hint to you that like hey literally every other comment is somebody saying like this is not okay though what he did isn't right like why did he have a gun why did he have this this is okay we're just worried about alana then obviously you have to understand he did something wrong and for the people that were maybe doing too much why they gotta be bubble gum, blah, 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 blah. Why can't you just say, listen, he was in the wrong. We understand, but y'all are doing too much. Y'all are kind of crossing the line with the, you know, the things that y'all are saying. Mind your business. Mind you your are business. miserable, baby. Mind your business, but guess what? When your show comes on, you're gonna want us to watch it. When you post them, when you go live on TikTok, you want us to watch it. You just don't want anybody to critique critique you or have anything negative to say about you. And I'm sorry, but that's not how the world works when you are a public figure or a celebrity. You, you're going to get, you're going to get critiqued. And when the girl, the, your younger sister who you have custody over, when her older boyfriend runs from the police, guess what? People's not going to like it. And these are people that actually loved your family before, but because you can't step up and say he was in the wrong, got a lot of people looking sideways at you. You are a hater, baby. Nope. You are a hater, baby. Flood these bitches out with orange hearts in the chat. Flood these little hoes out. Now they got to be hoes. I know it's best for Alana and Draylen getting pulled over by the cops and apparently running from the police. I get it. Even if you would have run, like, if even if he would have moved two more feet, they would have still got him with an eluding charge regardless. And when they turn their lights on, if he would have moved two more feet, 
I doubt they would have got him for an eluding charge. He went three miles from what they say. Three miles from what they say. And she said, I know what's best for Alana, but mind you, she didn't even know Alana's boyfriend was on probation. And then y'all would have been like, oh, she running from the police with Draylon in the car. Blah, 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 blah. She's bad. He's this. He's that and third. Like, do y'all even fucking know Draylon? Have y'all even stopped for a second outside of the fucking show to really get to know the motherfucker? How are we supposed to know Draylon outside of the show? How? We watch him on Alana's TikToks. We watch him on your TikToks. And then when he gets arrested for running from the police, it's not much to go off. But guess what? From what I saw, and I talk about this family a good bit, 99% of people like Draylon based off what they saw on the show. But there's not really many other ways to know him. I mean, I went to his Instagram account, and he's got F the police. Mama told me not to, but I, I'm going to anyways. Like, just the, you know, most craziest, like, childish, immature nonsense stuff on his Instagram. Honestly. I liked him on the show. But then this happened, and I'm like, then I went to his Instagram, and I'm like, I don't think what we see on the show is an accurate description or portrayal of who any of them really are. Didn't think so. Didn't think none of you dumb, bum, bum, book looking bitches in the comments. I was supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Y'all sure forgive my mama. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I see some of you bitches in here running your motherfucking mouth now over there in my mama's chat. And I think it's so ironic that she had such a problem with her mom and Gino and what they were doing. But now she wants to bring that up. She Okay, so you had such a problem with your mom, but not a problem at all with Draylon putting Alana's life in danger but you had such a problem with mama june and gino putting her in harm's way by doing drugs in the house with alana that you took her out of the house you moved alana in with you because of what mama june and gino were doing you moved her out of her house that she had lived in for many years with her mother because her mother was in the wrong i applaud you for doing that but now you have no problem with the fact that her boyfriend just put her in danger by running from the police. He's a black man. He's a, the cops could have ran up on him and shot him for crying out loud. Like, why would he even risk that? Hey, babe. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you. Why would he even risk that? But it's like, oh, y'all forgave our mama. Well, first off, we really didn't know too much what your mom was doing. Because she was like MIA a lot. And honestly, people did not just forget, forgive your mama. Like, she dealt with a lot of backlash for that. And like, she had to work to get into everybody's good graces, including yours, Pumpkin. Your mom had to work to get back into your good graces. You would not even talk to your mom because of what she did to y'all and Alana. But I guess Draylon can do whatever and it's fine, right? Y'all can forgive her for everything she did for three fucking years. So like, be fucking for real. Somebody said, "Why are you so why are you so defensive?" Like, I'm defensive because y'all running y'all's. Oh, I can't find a damn fucking. So if I can't stop. There's nowhere for me to stop when a cop is getting behind me and pulling me over. I should just stop in the middle of the road <laughs> <laughs> and put everybody else's life in danger. Three miles, Draylon could not find anywhere to stop. Allegedly, right? Um. Also, you know, I know there's bad apple cops out there i know there's bad cops out there and it's you turn your hazard lights on i mean yeah let them know that you're trying to look for somewhere else to, to, to pull over and here's the thing i highly suspect if the cops are behind you and there is nowhere to pull over then they're probably not going to charge you with evading and running from the police now i will say i was charged with running from the police but i had shady cops I legit had shady cops, which is honestly why I did try to give him the benefit of the doubt. If you go watch my first video that I made when this first happened, I said, like, I don't know, because I was charged with running from the police and I did not run from the police. 
they lied. One, pl one police officer said I went four miles, one said I went five, one said I went three, and I, I was barely even three miles away from my home. I pulled over when I saw them. So, you know, sometimes you can't always trust the police. So I did have to, yeah, but they did have to do the pit maneuver. So I feel like if these cops, if, if he continued on the road so long that there were 12 more, there were 11 more cars that joined the chase and the pit maneuver had to be done, then obviously the police was like, yeah, he's had every opportunity to pull over and he's just, and to, so you mean to tell me, I guess that's why he increased his rate of speed. I, I guess the reason why Draylon went from like 50 miles per hour to like 75, almost 80 was because he was, you know, in a rush to find a place to pull over. He's like, oh God, I've been, I've been going for a while now. I really got to find a place to pull over. Let's speed so I can find a place to pull over. Dude, you increased your speed. That's one reason why they will charge you with aggravated flight. If you get charged with like aggravated flight, that's when you increase your speed to run from the police. And that's what he did. He increased his speed to run from the police. Of course, as Stacy, of course. Stop in the middle of the road and jeopardize us getting bammed in by a fucking 18 wheeler. I'm just for being pulled over. And that's the facts. And that's the facts. Girl, what's the facts? <laughs> exactly. Somebody said, so why 12 police? There was three of us. There was three of us in the car. And there was 12 police. Nobody got out of the car and ran from the police. Like they all just sat there. I never heard anywhere, and I've read so many articles about the story. I've not seen one article that said anybody ran from the police, got out and ran. When they say ran, they mean in the car. I've not seen any anything saying that anybody got out and ran. I mean, honestly, if they would have jumped out and ran, they might would have got shot. So, and the fact that yeah, there were 12 cops, not a semi behind them. Exactly. Exactly. So the third person was one of Alana and Draylon's friends. Um, I don't remember his name. I did remember it for the longest, but I don't remember his name. And he had a warrant for his arrest, and he was arrested that day. While, while the police officer snatched the phone out of Alana's hands, hung up on me, told her she couldn't even be on the fucking phone. So he knew what the fuck he was doing. He told me I could be on the phone so nobody could get no proof of evidence of this dumb fucked up shit they was doing. I highly doubt the police told you because she just said, so he knew what he was doing. He told me that he was hanging up because so could nobody get no evidence. First off, they were body cams, my love. They were body cams. If you were to sue them because say they really were crooked and they really, and let me tell you, if it comes out that they really were crooked and Draylon was not in the wrong care, la di da di da I will be like, my bad. I'm sorry. I apologize. I got it wrong. I would say that. But I'm waiting for a lawsuit. I'm waiting for something to happen before I say that. But say you sue them. Guess what you can do? You can pull the body cam. Dash cam. Anything. Pumpkin being on the phone where she can hear. She can't see y'all. So, and here's the thing. When they got pulled over, should the cop grabbed her phone and hung up on Pumpkin? Uh, probably not. I don't think the police are really able to do that. They might can ask you to, you know, get off the phone or something like that. But I watch a lot of um, Audit the Audit, uh, which where people get pulled over and, and there's someone that kind of narrates like what's done right, what's done wrong. And you can actually film the police like when you get pulled over you can hold your phone and just say for my safety like i'm recording you but i'm not doing anything like here's my hands and because they are a public servant they cannot tell you that you cannot record them legally um i don't understand why they would have hung the phone up maybe they had some i mean here's the thing you just led them on a three mile chase but they had to do the pit maneuver so they probably wasn't too happy you know what i'm saying they're probably pulling everybody out to um, cuff them because they don't know who's done what at this point. So maybe they took the maybe they took the phone, hung it up, choked it to the side to cuff you because you, a lot of did get cuffed. They were cuffed. Like he dead ass. Uh, I thought there was a register. No, it was not. 
<laughs> Somebody said Lieutenant John need to get in the box. <laughs> Oh, but he called me immediately. He literally snatched the phone out of her hand, told her that she could not even be on the phone with him. Well, I'm thinking this, like Sean said, if they had to do the pit maneuver, then the situation was escalated to a certain level. When they get everybody out of the vehicle, they are immediately going to restrain them. So more than likely, he took your phone and, you know, maybe threw it back into the car or something. And maybe if you were on the phone with somebody, maybe you did hang up, throw your phone into the car. Because at this point, You've been on the phone with somebody. You ain't going to be able to talk anyways because they're going to cuff you. They claimed they were pulled over because the oh, one, the person it. on the tag was wanted. That's a lie. How do we know? Because Draylon's mama ain't wanted. And that's just ahead, let you How do we know Draylon's mama ain't wanted? I'm not taking I'm not taking what you say in this facts because in a minute you're going to straight up lie after Draylon says, I'm on probation. And everybody's like, well, that's why he couldn't have a gun. He's on probation. Tell me where he's on probation. I'll wait. He just told us. That's how we know, girlfriend. Like, either you don't know, which makes me trust your judgment there, as her guardian, if you don't know whether or not Alana, who is 17, her older boyfriend, is or isn't on probation. If you're not aware of that, then I trust your judgment in being her caretaker. If you do know, but you just lied to us, then I trust your judgment again. No. Yes, Draylon did have a gun, but it was not um, unmarked or whatever the fuck they said. I can... How do you know what it was or wasn't? You don't even know what they say. It was a lot of. It wasn't unmarked. <laughs> um, what? Because how do you know if it was or wasn't unmarked if you don't even know what they're saying it was or wasn't? What she means is it wasn't unregistered. It was registered to his cousin, allegedly. So it was not registered to him, and he is on probation. So therefore, he wasn't supposed to have the gun. Say that right now. It wasn't stolen. It wasn't unregistered. It wasn't none of that. It wasn't none of that. It was not none of that. And if y'all don't believe me, why he don't got the charge? Because this cop still got the gun right now. Yeah, I'm waiting for them to really, like, I'm waiting for the people in the comments here running that motherfucking mouth to show me where he got charged with weed and a, and a pistol. Somebody said what? Why was he carrying a gun? I don't think he got charged with weed, but I think they noted that he had weed on him. I think I'll have to go back and double check. Um, but it was said that he had weed on him and he may have gotten charged with, I have to go back and check. Uh, he had a gun and marijuana on him and he was charged with DUI, being under the influence. So you mean to tell me this man is under the influence driving your little sister around with a gun, with weed, and he runs from the police and you are a-okay with it? Good. Yeah. Baby, because you don't realize the world we live in? Folks just walk up on you and shoot your ass nowadays. Come on now. Like, who doesn't carry a gun in the state of Georgia? Be for real. Just like somebody just said, we're allowed to carry guns. We have the rights to carry guns. Not if you on probations. You don't have the rights. You do Because guess what? When you break the laws, you lose some of them rights, sister. And you no longer have the right to carry a weapon if you're on probation. It ain't that hard. It was a little county cop. It wasn't Georgia State Patrol. It wasn't even Georgia State Patrol. It was Georgia State Patrol at all, matter of fact. If the gun was legit, somebody said, hold on, I can't. Gun was legit, they would have given it back immediately. They won't give it back to Draylon because it's not in Draylon's name. It's in his cousin. And I'm on probation. Are previously done. The fuck? And he just said, and because I'm on probation, Draylon said it himself. We heard it from the horse's mouth himself. And now listen to what Pumpkin does. There it is. There you you want to know so bad, baby? If you want to believe anything else, go ahead, please. Please believe anything else. Because, baby, I know what happened. I was there when that man got behind us. Show me where he had on probation, y'all. Show me where he's at on probation. Because he ain't on probation. Let's go. I'm waiting. 
I'm waiting. He not I'm even on probation no more. And yes, he was on probation previously, but it was Jag. What in no federal? First off, he just said he was on probation, baby. Should we rewind it? I hope she watches this back and it's like, dang, I just made myself look like the fool by him saying he's on probation and then me saying, show me where he on probation. Like, girl, I can't with you. And then she says, listen, she makes it out like Jag probation is like not a big deal. It is the same thing as probation. It is probation. It would be just like if he went to court, which he did, and the judge says, probation. The only difference is he went to a privately owned company that works with the court system in the state of Georgia. That is it. That is it. It still operates under the same court. There's nothing that makes it less serious. Federal probation, it was fucking jag, and it was for a speeding ticket that he could not pay. Doubt it. Come on, we getting fucking real. Maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm, I don't know. I feel like I should look into this, but maybe he was on probation because he was arrested in 2019 for the statutory rape. Maybe that's why he was on probation. I'm not sure, but I will find out. We getting real because I'm gonna be sorry to drive because I don't know. Does anybody know anybody that gets probation for an unpaid speeding ticket? Does anybody know if that ever happened? I mean, I, I'm not very, I, I'm not the one to get mini speeding tickets. Um, but does anybody know? If you get speeding, if you get probation for a speeding ticket, so either, I don't think you do. Um, so if you don't, that's a lie. He told her, or that's a lie. She's telling us. It was for a speeding well, ticket. I don't like not pay. pay. Boy, and I'm going to be so honest. I was on the phone with his JAG probation officer while he was in the cop car. Then why was you on the phone with the probation officer if this man ain't on probation? I mean, what? Why are you calling this probation officer that got nothing to do with Draylon anymore if he wasn't on probation? I mean, to me, it seems like he was on probation. You were concerned because you were like, oh, crap, he's on probation. We just got pulled over. I need to call his probation officer and, and figure out if, if I know why, you want to know what happens when you're on probation and you get arrested? Sometimes you get a pro probation hold. If you're on probation and you get arrested, sometimes the judge will uh, put, put what's called a probation hold on you until your probation officer can find out what's happened and they can kind of go, go forward from there. So probably, probably she was calling his probation officer to say, listen, this is what's happened. Just letting you know what's going to happen? Are we going to be able to get him out of jail? Is this going to revoke his probation? And she's literally going to say, he said, it, we'll take care of it. Why are you calling a man if he ain't even on probation anymore? You literally just told off for yourself that he, in fact, was on probation when he got pulled over. The fact that the man just said two minutes ago, I was on probation. Now I'm like, we've caught them in a couple of lies at this point. And the, cop, and the probation officer said, okay, that's fine. He said, okay, that's fine. We're going to get it figured out. What he fucking did, we got to figure the fuck out. He got out two days later. Yeah, baby. Are we really going to go there? They got it so figured out because he got out two days later on like a, what was his bond? Like $25,000. His bond was $25,000. It ain't like he got out on an OR or they dropped the charges and be like, oh, actually, you're innocent. Go home. Guess what? Even people that's arrested for murder and serious crimes sometimes get out on bail. They literally look like they don't know anything by saying, we obviously got to figure it out. He got out. Uh, yeah, because everybody gets out on, on, on bond most, most of the time, even if they've been accused of killing someone. I mean, um, uh, Alec Murdoch. All his charges, he got out on bond like two or three times. <laughs> his bond was like 750k one time. He got out. It wasn't the same day because it was a mistake. It didn't get dropped. They didn't say sorry, my bad. You can leave. Like they really act like this because he got out two days later on a 25. Let me tell you something. If it wasn't that serious, his bond wouldn't have been twenty five thousand dollars. They got me frustrated. I don't be frustrated. I'm trying to calm down. Who's up?
Why can't I use all He these? is no longer on probation and it was fucking Jag. <laughs> and if you don't know what Jag is, you need to go and look it up. It's basically like Well, let me tell you the biz, boo boo. <laughs> Apparently you don't know what Jag is. Look it up. Like a little pity probation. He wasn't on no federal state probation for you. He in fact was on state probation. Yes, he was. Y'all, I'm not fucking resetting. Like I'm oh, fine. Oh no. Yeah, and their daughter was like, my mom, Alana, Alana. Um, so yeah, let's look at the other, let me find the other part. The rest of it. It's wild. If you don't know what Jag is, then you ain't living like a lot. <laughs> right? She's about look it up. Well, girl, maybe you need to look it up. Because apparently you don't know what it is. All right, let's see. Trigger warning. This is from Wildflower Tea's video. If you have not checked out her channel, please check out her channel. Right, let's see. Not that one. Right. He said, fuck you. Fuck your badge. Fuck everything. I don't give a fuck. That's exactly what Josh said when he pulled up. Literally, they literally put Josh in handcuffs too. These fucking he, cops. He, 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 these cops was so fucking crooked. Uh, okay, tell I'm sorry. I'm no longer a fan, baby. I don't care. I don't care. At the end of the fucking day, I will still have the most watched TV show on WeTV. So I don't give a fuck. But she doesn't. 8.30k off in here. And all these folks that these folks be doing on TikTok and shit, and y'all still support the fuck out of them, they do way worse than what Jalen did. I'm trying to tell you, y'all here supporting people who beat women. Not me. Who beat, beat women. It's not just one woman. Holy multiple. Yeah. And y'all worried about Jalen running from the goddamn police. Be for real. And you this man up here snorting cocaine and snorting drugs and stuff on live. <laughs> Just out here and put another motherfucker at number four yesterday who was damn near giving me pedophile vibes. And y'all out here paying for somebody's drugs and the fucking alcohol they keep Why? drinking our lives. Be fucking for real. Well, I just said Alana, but you added. You can look I, it up. A lot. I can't say at one point in time I acted like I did sniff cocaine. It was only because I was trying to make a joke out of what my mama does. does because hey, see, what are going to be here? She said, I was only trying to make a joke out of what my mama doing does. Okay, girlfriend. I support what she is. Well, I'm saying, how am I turning into my mama? Because I can see you right now, girl, and they never did no methamphetamines, baby. First off, Ella's in the background, like, yelling at Jessica, 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 Jessica. And who said that? Which podcast was it? Pumped in a lot on a podcast and I mentioned you. Listen, let me tell you something. I used to be fans. Not going to lie. I used to love their show, watch it. I have watched Honey Boo Boo since Tyler's and Tierra's. I've always, like, when she pretended to snort drugs on a live, I made excuses for her. I was like, y'all, she's going through a lot. I've always, like, reported on their family in the most respectful way to them. And I always kind of, I've always praised Pumpkin for like stepping up and taking care of her sister. I've always had a lot of like sympathy for Alana for like everything that she's went through. But I cannot support somebody talking to people just because first off, Draylen made a mistake. That is what it is. He did not pull over. According to reports, they had to do the pit maneuver. It puts you at risk knowing that he had, you know, drugs and, and, and a weapon and he was under the influence while driving you. Yeah. That that bothers me because I was such a fan. And for anybody that is critical of that or to say that was wrong, you're going to talk to us like that. Tell us to go wa wash our P-U-S-S-Y and that we're just upset because we're we're broke and we'll never be like you. I cannot support somebody like that because guess what? It, listen, even the most famous celebrities, it can be jerked out from under you like that. And you ain't the most famous, darling. Look at Mama June. She had her show canceled on uh, TLC years ago. Uh, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. It was canceled because she started, 
you know, talking to uh, Mark McDaniel, the guy that molested her daughter, Anna. So plenty of times celebrities get canceled. Humble yourself. Know that you are nobody special. You just got an opportunity that other people didn't get. Because it ain't like you're an actress that gets in front of the camera. Well, I guess maybe you are. You are kind of an actress. Not a good one because at times I've been like, I think this is fake, but um, I do agree. Everybody should wash their, you know what? I agree with that too. But it's not like you're some freaking uh, Emmy Award winning actress. You know what I'm saying? Like there are people that make movies that put a lot of like time and effort into their 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 art and their craft, and and you know they are talented. You are just a family. They got thrown on TV because, you know, y'all said things like steady and, and your mom would fart in front of everybody and you were all, you did pageants and, you know, you were like this really pretty little girl that did pageants, but y'all didn't live the life that made sense to do these big fancy pageants. And, you know, your mom farted and made, like I said, steady. And um, your dad, Sugar Bear, you know, like, it, honestly, you got put on TV because your family was a shit show. I'm sorry, I hate to say that. And honestly, I feel like in the beginning when it was like, when it went from Taj and Tierras to Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, I mean, I talked to people who was like, it's so trashy. Their family is so trashy. I just love watching them. So it's not like you were some talented, you know, like uh, Academy Award winning actress. You can lose what you have in a millisecond. And don't, you know, she's like, okay, ain't nobody can do it like me. Can't nobody do it like me. Girl, yeah, you can. I saw the other day where they're literally looking for a family in Louisiana to make a reality TV show out of. And I was like, if I submit it for my family and we got it, Lord, you're Jesus. Pretty so, I mean, you're, you're one in a million, darling. You know, you just so happen to get the opportunity. Like, it's not like you did something great or grand, you know? Yeah, let's see them in 10 years and see what, what's happening, you know? So how am I turning into my That's mama? Insane. I can keep running y'all's little trap, 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 trap. Baby, at the end of the day, I'm still going to make my money. Still going to get my coin. First off, I don't even think Alana gets paid for the show. I mean, she does, but I think it goes into like a um, an account that she can't touch right now. But none of them get paid like June did. And they struggle. Find it's so wild. Because like two years ago, Alana got a job. Uh, yeah, no, um, Pumpkin got a job at Walmart. You know, um, they are on TikTok all the time saying like, we're struggling. Like we, uh, oh, Pumpkin the other day, after this, this TikTok, after this TikTok, Pumpkin did a stream where she said that her car was about to be repossessed. Because they were behind on the payments. But they're talking about how they got all this money. It, to me, it's just how ungrateful you are for the opportunity that you've been given. And the people that keep your show on television, you can talk to them like they are trash. And that's what I don't like. Y'all mad because y'all bum, y'all broken bum ass is sitting on y'all's couch right now, worried about what the fuck Honey Boo Boo got going on. When you need to be all worried about how to make some money, you need to be worried about how to wash. Trigger warning! Trigger warning! The next word is going to be absolutely disgusting. That pussy. You need, you need, to, be, your pussy. You need to be worried about how to take care of them bad ass raggedy ass kids you got out the front your front door. Never heard of it. I'm pretty sure I just heard LSA mama like 25 times, but okay, carry on. Half of you bitches probably got fucking methamphetamine charges and work at Waffle House. And half of you motherfuckers. Hold up. Don't her mama have a methamphetamine charge? Plenty of people do because addiction is a disease that a lot of people struggle with. And what's wrong with working at the daggone Waffle House? At least it's an honest job. Probably got six different baby daddies. Three of them you don't even really know that you fucked when you was on methamphetamines because you just needed some put fucking dick. Hold on. Mama June got like four baby daddies. Who are we really talking about here? Are we talking about your followers or are we talking about like Mama June? Because I don't want to talk about, I don't want to talk bad about Mama June. I don't think she deserved it. She ain't done nothing. She really been working hard to better herself. So why are we going to talk about your mama like that? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, 
Uh, and said, going to the dream. Somebody said, I got two kids with one baby daddy. I'm safe. <laughs> Period. Because, baby. <laughs> if it just shower in the comments yet, you smell like the fucking fish filet from McDonald's. Come on now. Your kids probably got shit all on their face. They're probably sitting in a, in a shitty diaper right now. I'm pretty sure from understanding the way that this works. All the kids get paid, but it goes into an account. It's not a lot. It's not like hundreds and thousands of dollars. Um, but it does go into an account that I don't think can be touched until they're old enough to get it themselves. But like Mama June used to make like two, three hundred k a a season. I think they only make like ten to thirteen a season. That's what I heard back in the day. Um, it, it may have increased. I gave y'all all the tea, you know what I'm saying? Hi. Bitch, I ain't get rid of no nose ring. Hi. I ain't paid forty dollars for each one for no reason, baby. Eighty dollars. The police, the police took her nose ring. Oh. <laughs> the police took them. The police took them because it was an unregistered nose ring. They got me on two accounts. They got, they got, y'all. They got her on two accounts. I'm still trying to figure out if it's the Facebook account, the Instagram account, the TikTok account. Which account did they get you on, my love? I think she means they got her own two counts. But once again, that just shows you the immaturity and the lack of understanding how the law works and how it is. You talking about they got you on two, uh, they got me on two accounts. Facebook and Instagram. I don't know, maybe TikTok, whatever. It's two counts. It's two counts, okay? You got me on two accounts of... Um unregistered nose rings somebody call cps call him baby you want me to call the um director down here or what give me to call the director or what let me call her for you right now i'll put her on the line i can get on the phone so uh doctor baby don't dig in there don't dig in there yeah y'all make sure go ahead give cps a call baby lana look where you come from don't be judging bro people bitch <laughs> Don't even get me started on that because I've been famous since I came out the womb, baby, since I was six. She came out the womb when she was six years old. She said, I've been famous since I come out the womb. I've been famous since I was six. Hmm. Yeah, she needs to go back to math class as well. You you tell me how old I am now, baby. Y'all will never be able to make it like me. Trust me. That's what y'all really in the comments mad about that I caught y'all out about being broke. Oh. <laughs> That's y'all bad because y'all the broke ones. <laughs> Girl, don't make hey, come on. Don't make Be so for real. They said, who's broke? Well, if you ain't broke, send me a uni. Oh. If you ain't broke, make that cash app ding, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. But if that is not the, the trashiest thing, thing I've ever seen in my life, like to call someone broke, to tell them to go wash their P-U-S-S-Y, say they can never make it like you, and then, like, oh, if you ain't broke, though, I mean, you need, girl, I wouldn't throw you a bucket of water if you were dehydrated to the fullest after you talked to me like that. I would not throw you a bucket of water. After, literally, somebody talked to me like that, you think I'm about to throw you a uni? If I, if I was a billionaire, after somebody talked to me like that, I would not give them one red cent. And if anybody in that TikTok did give them money after that, that's ridiculous. I didn't pay for the ticket. Okay, for one, let's talk about how it wasn't my ticket. Okay, so it wasn't my ticket. So if, why would I pay for a ticket that wasn't even mine? And then for two, when you get a little speed and somebody said they mad, they don't have a mom on, bitch. Be for real. Who mad? My mama back in my life, baby. She over here sending child support every first of the month, baby. Come on. Yeah, right. Your mom. And that's that. Look how braggadocious she is over that. It wasn't like, no, my mom has always been in my life. We just had our problems. It's like, oh, she's back in my life now, baby. <laughs> she paid child support every first of the month. Like, oh, that you don't need to brag about that because it definitely tells everyone that at one point she was not. Here's the thing, you just, you, why are you so boastful? I, you're no better than the next person. You're no better than the next person. This is literally like watching this, all of my support that I've had over this family, 
throughout the years, I could not continue to support this family. I could not. I don't have to pay child support because I take care of my kid. Oh, girl. Mama is not in your life. If she was, maybe you would have some manners. Bitch, my mama never you talked. You need to get mama off in the box. Somebody, you need to get mama. mama in the Somebody said if your mama was in your life, she sh she should have taught you some manners. And Funka said, my mama ain't never taught us no manners. We see that. We see that. In the box to show y'all. Mama, you tell them the biz. Tell the I look, I ain't even gonna give I ain't even gonna give them my energy right now, okay? Look, we we dealing with more bigger fish to prom. Yeah, mama, don't you know that you're not in our life anymore? Who said? Yeah, I just left there like yesterday after being there for like ten days straight. Yeah, but you're not in our life anymore. You're not. Well, I mean, I just left there from being there 10 days straight. I'm coming back Thursday. Somebody said, turn Thursday. your camera like, off. No, baby, throw the union, then I'll turn the camera on, baby. <laughs> because I'm riding. I'm riding. Because, you know, I got to do that weekly drug screens that, you know, I'm th over three years clean that I, you know, I'm pissing this cup every week for. That's where I'm headed to. So, like, y'all see we trying to get our life back on track. Okay, girlfriend. <laughs> that, that's the thing. How can you say anything to anybody when y'all trying to get y'all's life back on track. And she's about to lose her, her van because it's about to get repo because she's payments behind on it. How do you, that's, that's the whole damn, the damn thing that I'm trying to say. Honestly, listen, I don't even like him, but I feel bad for him if they got a hold of him. Okay? I mean, you know, I, I'm fixing a piss in my cup that I go piss in weekly that I've been clean for over three years straight. Exactly. <laughs> so I said, get sugar bear in the box. Okay, now we don't fuck with him. No, we don't fuck with him. First of all, I wasn't saying that any of my fans was broke. Uh, we're not saying that. I'm saying the broke ass haters are broke. Yeah, broke ass haters. But the thing about it is, is in the beginning of that video, there were people saying, I am a follower of yours. Like, I am a fan, and I don't like this. And they were like, okay, oh, well, it ain't going to hurt us to lose a fan. So, no, there some of these people were your fans saying how bothered they were and how they did not agree with it. And you very quickly said, this train going to keep on rolling without them. So, you absolutely were talking to your fans, too. Get out of the camera. Oh, oh, here we go. There goes Draylon from the jail cell. <laughs> this is, wait, wait, let me tell you, let me tell you. This is a collect call coming from Draylon, an inmate at the county jail. A collect call, y'all. Right. I just had to do it because the way he looked on the background. I'm sorry. Thank you, Magic Wand Productions. Uh, <laughs> collect call. Y'all say hi. He only got 15 minutes. Y'all can hurry up. Um, anybody would like to put money on Draylon's books? I'm in the rise and hell. Oh wow! Okay, guys, I'm just going in drug tests, so y'all going to talk to Justin? Mm -hmm. yeah. He need he need she he needs some commentary. So I mean, yeah. whatever y'all can see. Him. As you can see, Alana and the whole crew just made a whole bunch of jokes about this. Okay, so like I said, that's Wildflower T's video on it. Go check her video out. I will link it in the description box below. Because she, you know, talked leading up to this. And then at the end, she gave her thoughts on it. So you guys could check out her video. But the fact that they're like, it wasn't his fault. He could have pulled over two feet after they turned the lights on. And they still would have charged him with X, Y, and Z. Not buying it. The, they hung up on Pumpkin. Well, guess what? They were taking everybody out to cuff everyone. Because they didn't know what kind of danger they may could potentially be in either. Considering that the person ran from them, they had to do the pit maneuver. Um, I mean, they were protecting themselves. So, yeah, they probably grabbed the phone, tossed it back in the car, hung up, whatever. Okay, it's a uni is the biggest donation on TikTok. I guess it's like $500 as well. They need to stop making excuses for him. Exactly. That's the thing. If they would have just said, listen, he screwed up, he should have stopped immediately. There were some things that were not. There are things that we are not happy about, but we know who Dra we know who Draylon really is. He just, you know, had a mess up, but and we're working through that. I could have had so much respect for them for that to be like, listen, he he made a mistake, and yeah, he did do X, Y, and Z, and we are bothered by that, and that's something we're discussing with him. But we know who he really is, and. He's still, you know, growing. He's going to make mistakes. And we don't want to be too rough on him. Blah, 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 blah.
I could have respect for that. But for them to just act like he done nothing wrong, I don't have respect for that. I don't have respect for that at all. But anyways, so that was their excuse, basically, is, um, you know, the gun, it wasn't an unmarked one. It wasn't an unmarked gun. Um, but still, he was on probation. Tell me where. You know, he said it. Um, so I'm curious. I need to figure out when his court date is so I can make sure. I mean, the way they're like, oh, look, it's Draylon. He, look at his mugshot. It's Draylon from the jail cell. Let's look at this real quick. Let's look really quickly because when Draylon goes back to court, whatever his punishment is going to be, I think I might use this picture on my thumbnail. Get out of the camera. Oh, here we go. There goes Draylon from the jail cell. <laughs> this is, wait, wait, let me tell you, let me tell you. The way he's laughing and not taking anything serious tells me there he is so immature. This is super serious. He ran someone off the road, but he's laughing and acting like it's no big deal. Boy, you got a lot of growing up to do. Honestly, the whole family does. The whole family has a lot of growing up to do. And I really think um, I did ask people if they wanted me to review the next season. And people said yes. So I do think I'll probably watch it on YouTube and review it, but I don't think I'm going to watch it on any streaming services where it counts as a view for them because I just can't support it. I'll, I'll watch it on YouTube and I'll give my reviews, but yeah, they think this is all a joke and it's not. I mean, God forbid if that car that he ran off the road would have had, if that person would have got injured or God forbid if because Draylon ran from them and they had to do the pit remover, if those cops would have ran up and something bad would happen and Draylon would have ended up shot or Alana would have ended up shot or Alana would have ended up hurt from the pit maneuver being happened. All these people that are mad about this, those are the reasons they're mad about it. Those reasons. Somebody getting hurt. Something like that. But they're like, no, it didn't do anything wrong. And they're laughing about it. Don't like it. He didn't have any space on the side to stop, but had enough space to run someone off the road. I mean, and for three miles, he didn't have any space to stop, apparently. You know, so take one for the team, but don't give them the view. Yeah. If Jay says, yep, I'll do YouTube too. That's what I'm going to suggest, everybody. I think they need to see how this is going to affect their business. I think they need to see that it can be gone in an instant. I'm not really for cancel culture. I mean, I'll cancel my support for somebody because that's my. But I don't call for, I don't really like to call for it for other people. But I'm just saying, if you have a problem with this and you don't want to watch them on the show, you can't watch it on YouTube. Um, they definitely need to be humbled. Thousand percent. Anyways, you guys, give me your thoughts in the comment section below. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, somebody came in while ago and said that Pumpkin and Alana talked about me on a podcast. If you guys know what podcast that is, I would love to watch it. I'd love to hear what they had to say. Probably not, but let me know and maybe I'll watch it. And maybe we'll review it and watch it together. I don't know. Anyways, consider consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. It's called Biting the Hand That Feeds You. They've been in the public eye for too long and they know better than to do this. Where is their agent or their publicist? That is another issue that I'm considering doing a video on. Their manager is Gina Rodriguez, um, former porn star, former um, manager to Farah. Abraham. She was actually Farah's manager when Farah did the backdoor team mom. She also, Gina, also allegedly tried to um, force Mackenzie McGee from team mom to do a sex tape with her husband, Josh, but they're like very religious and she wouldn't do it. Um, instead of having it done, Gina set up. She told Mackenzie, um, I want you to meet someone that's a friend of mine. So Mackenzie flew into L.A. to meet someone that was friends with Gina for a business opportunity. Come to find out it was the CEO of Vivid Entertainment, who is porn, the, 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 the porn company that um, sold Ferris tape. And guess what? Allegedly, uh, Gina had photographers there when they all met. And it all went out. The McKenzie had done a sex tape and it was about to be released. And 
She was in talks with Vivid Entertainment about, you know, um, working out a deal because the story was going to be was that Josh and McKenzie had a sex tape and somebody went into their house and stole it and sold it to Vivid. Um, McKenzie writes in her book that she had no idea what was going on, who this guy was. It was like when the pictures came out that she realized, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that basically her, and that's why she left this manager. Gina was also Mama June's manager up until about six months ago, maybe a little bit longer. But she still manages Pumpkin, Josh, Alana, um, Dodo, everybody else besides June and Justin. And June said that she was like, couldn't be trusted, that she like stole money from them and she did like shady things. So, I mean, this is Pumpkin and Alana's. This is a woman also that tried to set them up with weight loss surgery, that tried to set them up with getting dentures, like a whole makeover. Thank you, LH. I'll watch that. Um, so I just hope that Little Miss Gina, she's been on the show. Little Miss Gina Marie or Rodriguez doesn't try to talk Alana into doing a uh, leak, leak um, drug test. I mean, not drug test. She needs to do a drug test. Uh, uh, um, um, porn video with Draylon or something. Um, hey, L. I want to ask you to review on Bob Rivers. BC, that's a tough one for me. I know them personally, and they have been so nice to me and so welcoming to me, and I don't really know what's going on. Um, but I did shoot Miss Bobby a message and just let her know that I'm praying for her. It's so weird because, like, when I went to the Duggar trial, I met them, and they were so nice to me. I've kind of kept in touch with them. We had dinner, and I feel like I'm, like, overstepping to, to go – into that so i don't know i don't know anyways you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye everyone